Welcome back to another Tech Dev Repair video. In today's edition, we'll be working on the Samsung S23 Ultra. This video will be a tutorial on how to replace the screen of the Samsung S23 Ultra. That includes the screen replacement with the frame. First, we're gonna need a heating mat, temperature set between 70 to 90 degrees. Uh, the only uh, screwdriver you're gonna need for this repair video is a Phillips screwdriver, 1.5 millimeter. I highly recommend using a plastic card, you know, to make sure like you extract the back glass safely without scrapping uh, the coating. And a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to help dissolve the adhesive. So without further ado, let's get into the repair. We're gonna apply isopropyl alcohol on the back cover of the Samsung to help loosen the adhesive beneath it. By the way, actually, um, Samsung has a service automatic display back cover disassembler. Uh, that machine is actually efficient to remove the back panel automatically, but this is a video more oriented into like the manual labor on how to do it. So uh, if you guys decide to like mail in your device to us for repairs, we do it the Samsung official way. And if you're looking for any parts or tools, please check out in the links below in the description, as well as we offer data recovery service at techlip.com. After that, we're gonna take our plastic card find an enclosure we can start opening and there it goes then we're going to proceed by removing all the phillips screws holding the frame of the displace assembly Starting by the sub PBA. Then using a plastic spudger, we're gonna start removing the wireless pad NFC connection. And then we're gonna remove the bottom speaker of the S23 Ultra, which is attached to the wireless NFC. Disconnect the battery first, then proceed by removing the LCD extension flex, which is attached to the main PBA board as well as the LCD one. This is a separate part, so make sure like you transfer it onto the new screen. Then we disconnect the main board flex cable. There are also like some Phillips screws on the charging board, so I definitely recommend to take them as soon as you just remove the loudspeaker. And do not forget to eject the SIM tray tool. Most common mistake is that the technician forget to remove the SIM tray and they try to remove the charging port without realizing that there is an actual resistance. Then we're gonna extract the pen. Using a plastic spudger, we're gonna pry off the charging port. Then disconnect the antenna cover on the top and the part should come out. Moving on, disconnect the flex cable of the stylus pen and the top connection of the board coming from the LCD as well as the front camera. Uh, the front camera is also like transferable. So in order for the logic to recognize the front camera. It has to be the same one for the S23 Ultra. We're gonna go ahead and remove the main board. Use the prying tool top and try to go easy on the octa or glue, white glue they use to make sure that the front camera sits <coughs> in the front panel. And there goes the front camera. And lastly, to remove the battery, you can use either isopropyl alcohol along with the heat gun or the heating mat, or you can use the pull tab. I usually like to use the isopropyl alcohol because it is much more efficient. 
So one thing to note about this Samsung is actually that it's an international version. And for this particular repair, actually, usually for other countries such as Japan or United States, it does come with like 5G module antenna flex cable located here and here. But for this particular model, it does not come with one, so you don't need to transfer it, obviously. Then apply a little bit of heat. And there goes the battery. Then, um, after this, we're gonna start the process of the reassembly. Uh, we have parts available in the links in the description for the Samsung S23 Ultra. First, we're gonna start with the sub PBA. Then, in between, we just put the battery. Insert in the SIM card. Then the motherboard. We connect in the LCD flex. Do not connect the battery just yet. This is the LCD flex extension. And connects to the main PBA. Then we're gonna take the antenna module. Front camera. Then we're gonna apply the top speaker antenna cover. Then put the bottom screws on the charging port. Now we can connect the battery since we cannot be applying the NFC <coughs> connections, the wireless pad. I'm gonna put the stylus back. Then the bottom speaker along with the wireless pad. Moving on, we're gonna put all the screws back in. Then we're gonna apply the back glass. Then we're gonna turn on the phone, making sure that the screen works. Alright, thank you guys for watching, leave a like and subscribe, if you have any questions leave them in the comment below and with the help of the community we'll make sure to assist you. Again if you saw any parts or tools you need in this video check us out at techtech.com or click the link below for mailing repairs. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time.